Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to measure vertical railroad track deflection with this little device right here. Let's hit the tracks and check it out. So guys, first things first, got to wear your PPE gear. To give you some background on the area we're at, we're at the Old Court Station, right in Maryland, doing some testing. Uh, we saw a visual inspection of about half an inch of of pumping or vertical deflection in this area of the track. Uh, we wanted to get an exact number, so we just decided to try using the Dynamic Void Vertical Deflection Digital Reader, um, and it gave us that exact number of what we are looking for. Uh, so let's get into it. So guys, what you're going to see is the uh, track inspector magnetized the Dynamic Void unit to the web of the rail. Um, he's zeroing the unit out right now. We're actually just placing it on, getting it into inches, and now he's going to zero the unit out. You can see there's two magnets on the back of the device that allows it just to stick directly to that web of the rail. Um, after he steps away from the unit, you're going to see the train is going to pass over. And there it is. You're getting your vertical deflection, the exact number. So you can see the numbers going up as the train continues to pass over. So we get 51.352. So right in that area is where your vertical, vertical deflection is at. Um, and it's as simple as that. There he's holding the device. You're going to see 0.34. That was another take we did. I just didn't get the exact one, but just to show it pops really easy off the rail and it's super easy to use. Um, it's pretty much a caliper for vertical deflection on the railroad, which is uh, giving you very, very precise measurements of what you're going to find vertical deflection. So guys, now that we took a look at how dynamic void works, I wanted to take a look at a few other ways you can manually measure vertical deflection or void under full dynamic load. Um, so the first one here is called a Pell gauge void meter. It's like a greenish, yellowish device. Um, it clamps to the, to the base of the track, so you actually have to dig out the ballast. That's one of the biggest challenges with the device, and I'd say pain points that railroaders have is you have to, it's time consuming to dig out that ballast to be able to hook this device up. Um, and as the train passes over, it moves that sliding collar down and you're able to, to measure how much void happens there. Um, but again, the biggest challenge is moving that ballast out and planting this to the rail. And here's another device. It's just a generic, um, it doesn't have a brand name to it, but it's a metal void meter. Um, and it looks like it works very similarly as the Pell gauge. Um, it goes underneath the base of the rail. You have to dig out that ballast again. Um, and as the rail moves up and down and pumps and gives you your void, it moves that red lever arm and gives you the measurement of how much uh, pumping you actually had or, or what your vertical deflection was under full dynamic load. And the last way is the way track inspectors and railroaders have done it for a lot of years. It's the kind of makeshift way of using the railroad spike. Um, and they would put this spike underneath the base of the track and as the track moves up and down, it rubs against the side of the spike and it, wherever you see the rubbing on it, you are able to measure that amount of rubbing and get that measurement. But the challenge there is it's not accurate. And that is why we deem dynamic void to be the easiest way to measure vertical deflection under full dynamic load. If you want to try yours out, it's on ftsrail.com. You can order one today and give it a try. And that concludes the video for today. I want to give a special thanks for everyone who watched. Um, if you like what you saw, give us a like or a follow to follow along with all the innovative and, and new tools that FTS Tools is coming out with for the railroad industry over the next months and years to come. Thanks for watching.